Hello everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to use the Jungle Scout Chrome extension to make product research quick and easy. Now this extension runs on amazon.com on two types of pages. The first is the search results page after you search for a product. The other place is on a product listing page after you click onto a listing. So let's go through a demo. We've performed a search here and now I'll run the extension. Immediately, you get a snapshot of the most important metrics, such as the monthly sales, sales rank, price, and reviews. These are averages of all the listings on this page. On the right-hand side, you have the opportunity score, which gives you a quick assessment of how good of an opportunity this particular niche is. The score is out of 10, with one being a poor opportunity and 10 being a great one. It summarizes the level of demand and competition, which are two of the most important metrics to analyze when doing product research. The opportunity score alone is incredibly powerful, but let's dive into a deeper analysis looking at the individual listings. So underneath the name of each listing, you'll see it's ASIN. Clicking here allows you to easily copy it, a lot of these columns are fairly self-explanatory, including the listing's brand name, price, monthly and daily sales, as well as monthly revenue. You have fees, which refers to Amazon's FBA fees, which they take out per unit. The net column then shows you the remainder once those fees are subtracted. This is the amount that would be credited into your Seller Central account if you were to sell this product. So a tip to remember is that any information in orange is clickable. So if we click onto this net number, it's gonna bring up our profit calculator. This allows you to calculate your profits by including your product cost and also adjusting your listing price. So for example, if you were considering selling this product and you knew that the product cost and shipping was say $4, you could see the profit amount and also the return on investment. Further to this, you could experiment with different prices. So what if you wanted to sell for a higher price or a lower price? The profit calculator is a must use tool when performing product research. The other fields that we have included are the number of reviews, the average star rating out of five, and the best seller rank. I mentioned the orange numbers being clickable. So let's take a look at those. Here you get historical data. So if you're looking at the price, you can see how it's changed over time. The same over here with the monthly and daily sales. This is really helpful to determine the seasonality of a product. The Jungle Scout extension allows you to sort any of these columns ascending or descending. Just click on the header to toggle this. Now, if you wanna see more results, click load more results down the bottom. You'll notice that this updates our averages up at the top. Now let's talk about some of our menu items. You can even customize your view, adding additional columns. So let's add these. LQS stands for Listing Quality Score. We rate all the listings between one and 10 based on the listing quality with one being poor and 10 being great. This is factoring in their title, description, bullet points, and images. The seller type, will tell you whether that product is being sold by a fulfilled by Amazon seller or fulfilled by merchant or even by Amazon themselves. You can also see the number of sellers on that individual listing. This is helpful if you're doing retail arbitrage or wholesaling. You can see the product's category. You can also see what sizing tier Amazon has classified the product as, as well as the physical dimensions and weight. Generally, the bigger, heavier, and higher the tier, the more expensive your FBA fees will be. So now let's go back to our menu. In addition to sorting your results, you can also filter them. So for instance, let's say you only want to see listings that fall into a certain price or sales range. Next, you can download the results as a CSV file so that you can view it in a spreadsheet later on. Here, you can view a keyword cloud which displays the most used keywords on the page in nice large text. This can be really helpful if you're designing your own listing for this product and you wanna know which keywords to use. This is also downloadable. 
Here, Search Trends sends you to Google Trends, which is another great way to see the seasonal traffic for this keyword. Note that this is based off of Google traffic, not Amazon, so it's not 100% correct, but it will give you a good idea of this product's interest over time. Now, if you would like some additional feedback on the niche that you've chosen, you can download screenshot. This will hide the product's name and just display the numbers so that you can get some unbiased feedback on what it looks like from that perspective. Finally, if you're also using our Jungle Scout suite of tools, you can perform three other functions. The first is to easily add listings from the extension directly into the product tracker in order to verify those ideas further. Secondly, you can perform a reverse ASIN search to find out the keywords for this product. And thirdly, you can perform a search inside of supplier database to discover the supplier for this listing with just one click. So that's all the functionality contained within this screen. But the extension also incorporates data directly onto the search page and any product page. It's a lot of the same information as what you'll find on the main screen of the extension, but sometimes it can be helpful to see the most useful information directly below the item. You'll see data including how this is being sold, how many sellers are selling this item, the ASIN, monthly sales, ranking in its categories, brand name, daily sales, monthly revenue, date first available, net profit, and estimated fees. If you click here, you can easily copy this item's ASIN. Here, you have the option of going straight to Keyword Scout to see how this product is ranking or add this product to the product tracker. You also have the option here of customizing exactly what information you want to see. Additionally, on every listing, you see this information bar up here at the top. Again, you can easily see and copy the ASIN, see what keywords this ranks for, add it to the product tracker, see the monthly sales, bestseller ranking, date first available, and the listing quality score. Now, if you expand this, you're able to see historical data for monthly and daily sales, as well as how the price and rank have changed over time. Then over here, you have a lot of the same useful information as before. Remember that if you do find this too obtrusive, you can always minimize this section. And that's how you use the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. I hope this tutorial has helped you get started using it so that you can validate product ideas as you browse through Amazon. Now go ahead and try this out for yourself by clicking the link down in the description to sign up for Jungle Scout. Did you know that Jungle Scout offers way more tools than just the Chrome extension and all the tutorials are located right here in this playlist? Make sure you check out the next video on how to use our Jungle Scout tools.